Good evening, and thanks so much for joining us on this ABC 10 special edition. I'm Laura Painter. And I'm Chris Thomas. The family of a 22-year-old college student who was killed in a Midtown Sacramento shooting is now pleading for justice. Last week, 29-year-old Alex Brown was arrested for the deadly shooting of Colby Tevis near J and 24th Street. ABC 10's Roxana Elias spoke to the victim's family today. <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Jamie Tevis Littlejohn recalls the day her nephew, Kobe Tevis, was shot and killed outside the Cornerstone Cafe and Bar near J and 24th Streets on September 21st. She said, did you hear about Kobe? And I said, no, what happened to Kobe? And she said, Kobe got shot. And I said, oh, I got to go, I got to go, I'll call you back. So Tevis's aunt and godmother says her nephew was there celebrating his older sister's birthday. And he and his friend were at the wrong place at the wrong time when they were shot. We all are having a hard time coping. Um, my brothers, been, I mean, they cried daily. They tried to come to church Sunday. They stayed for a little bit, but it was hard. And they just real emotional, um, very difficult for everyone. The family held his funeral on October 4th. And nearly a month after Colby was killed, Sacramento police arrested 29-year-old Alex Brown last week in connection to Tevis's death. According to court records, he's facing three felonies, which include murder and being a felon in possession of a firearm. He made his first court appearance this past Friday, and Tevis's aunt says all the family was there. It was hard to see the person, um, Alex, <laughs> um, come out and show no, no remorse whatsoever. Um, I don't know what our expectations were, but I guess we thought it was going to be a little bit different. Um, but it was very emotional. Um, my brother broke down and his wife and several other people. Tevis Littlejohn says Kobe was a senior at San Jose State University and his goal was to become a sportscaster at ESPN. But now he'll never be able to fulfill that dream. His godmother says they need to see Brown pay for what he did. We want him to stay behind bars. We want him to be in there forever. We want the maximum sentence, um, whatever that may be, that's, that's what we want. And so we want to see this case through the end to make sure that we get justice for Colby. Brown's next court appearance is set for November 20th. Tevis's family says they plan to be at every hearing as they demand justice.